Hey guys, it's Mark from Ace Tutors, and over the course of the next several videos, I'm going to explain some of the most common probability distributions covered in statistics. In this video, I'll go over the uniform distribution. So first off, a uniform distribution is characterized by having a constant probability within a certain domain. But what does this mean? Well, to find out, let's take a look at this distribution on a graph where the x-axis represents the different values this certain event can be, while the y-axis represents the probability of those events. From this graph, you can hopefully see how each x-value within the domain of a to b has the exact same y-value, which implies the same exact probability. But what is this constant probability? Well, we already know that if we add up all the probabilities of all the outcomes of a certain event, or in other words find the total area under any probability distribution the result must equal one since this area is a nice and simple rectangle we can find its area by multiplying its height by its width the width is simply found by subtracting b minus a and now we can solve this equation for what the height must be dividing both sides by b minus a we get that the height of this distribution must be one over b minus a Okay, now that we covered the general look of the uniform distribution, let's go over some common values associated with this distribution. First, let's find its mean, or expected value. Because the distribution is nice and symmetric, the mean mu ends up being right in the middle of its domain, which you can find by taking the average of the domain bounds, aka a plus b divided by 2. And once again, from the distribution symmetry, this value ends up being the same for the median. Okay, moving on to standard deviation, this formula ends up being a little less intuitive. For a uniform distribution, the standard deviation sigma ends up being the square root of b minus a squared divided by 12. Next, let's go over some of the fun stuff, probability. When we discuss finding probability for continuous functions like this, we generally want to find the probability of a range of things occurring. For example, we might want to find the probability of our event's outcome being between C and D. To calculate this, we could approach it one of two ways. You can either see it as a rectangle and calculate the area by length times width, or understanding that the distribution is uniform you can find the fraction that the desired interval makes up the entire distribution's domain. Either way, you would end up with the same result of d minus c divided by b minus a. Now that we covered some general terms from the uniform distribution, let's put the theoretical garbage aside and see how this works with a concrete example. Say that you take the bus to work, and every day the bus is uniformly late between 2 and 10 minutes. On any given day, how long can you expect to wait? And with what standard deviation? Finally, if the bus is late more than 7 minutes, you'll be late to work. So what is the probability that you'll be late on any given day? Okay, first, let's set up our graph. Instead of a and b, we can replace these values with 2 and 10, because that's the entire domain for the bus's arrival time. Now, let's start solving some of these questions. First, we want to find how long we can expect to wait for the bus on any given day. Well, this is a job for the expected value formula. We can calculate mu by finding the middle of the domain, which is 12 over 2, or 6. And since this is a word problem, we have to add in our units. Because of the units in the question, we find that we can wait an average of 6 minutes on any given day. Next, we want to calculate the standard deviation of our wait times. Using our standard deviation formula, we find that sigma is equal to the square root of 64 over 12, or about 5.33. And what this represents is that the wait times deviate from the mean on average an amount of 2.31 minutes. Finally, in order to calculate the probability of being late to work, 
we essentially want to find the probability of the bus being over 7 minutes late. Since the bus's arrival time has an upper bound of 10 minutes late, we need to find the probability of it being between 7 and 10 minutes. Using our probability formula, we find that this probability ends up being 3 over 8, or 0.375. So that's the basics of the uniform distribution. In future videos, I'll be explaining some of the more complex distributions that you'll come across in your class. For now, if you have any additional topics or videos you want to see made, please let us know down in the comments. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Thanks again for watching, and remember, you have big dreams, don't let a class get in the way.